hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with the electrical and electronics measurement so in the last uh, three videos we discussed about the basic introductory concepts related to measurement the types of measurement and also about the general measurement system so in this video we are going to discuss the basic modeling okay the input output model of a measurement system on the basis of the input output relationship okay so let us just uh, revisit some key concepts related to the measurement system we all know we have already covered it in the first video measurement is basically comparison of the unknown parameter the unknown signal of interest in with a known quantity a reference or a predetermined standard value and this process is accomplished with the help of the device or the instrument okay and uh, the results that we obtain they must be provable such that we know from beforehand that for a fixed input the instrument will give this output okay a fixed output and next time when we apply the same input we'll get the same output so that process is called as calibration we'll discuss it in the performance characteristics in detail so this is the basic process of measurement the quantity to be measured the measurand the unknown signal of interest the reference it is compared with the reference or the standard which is predetermined and we get the result okay so the input signal the measurement system and the output signal measurement this is the instrument or the measurement system and the output but here we are just representing it in a simple way we get the input which is the unknown signal the measurement system compares it with the reference or the standard and we get the output but actually along with the signal of interest which we want to know the unknown signal of interest there are other inputs also which interfere or which try to modify or mask the original input signal which we want okay so we cannot completely eliminate those signals those inputs okay we cannot do that we have to take into account those signals and design the measurement system in such a way such that the effects of those modifying and interfering signals is reduced and it kept at a minimum level possible so the various types or the inputs which are given to a measurement system or which become a part of the measurement system unintentionally they are first the desired input signal okay the original signal of interest which we want to know the unknown entity then the interfering input then the modifying input these are the three input types which go into the measurement system okay first the desired input it is the original signal of interest okay which we want to know the value of which we want to know and it is for this specific input the measurement system is designed okay according to some input output relationship for example temperature is the desired input for resistance temperature detector or thermistor or thermocouple pressure or force is the desired input for bodden tube for bellows okay displacement is the desired input for linear variable displacement transformer lvdt okay so these are the desired inputs temperature for rtd thermistor thermocouple force or pressure for bodden tubes bellows and displacement for lvdt it is for this specific input that system is designed we cannot use rtd rtd thermistor and thermocouple for pressure measurement or force measurement similarly you cannot use rtd thermistor and thermocouple for force or pressure measurement okay 
so this is that desired input okay uh, then the same thing I have uh, written here uh, displacement for LVDT and force and pressure for bottom tube and bellow then is the interfering inputs okay the interfering and modifying inputs they are basically the same uh, definition the same representation these are the unwanted parameters the unwanted signals which affect the measurement system which we which interfere with this measurement process that's why the name suggests interfering inputs okay and uh, modifying inputs also are uh, the unwanted signals which modify the input output relationship okay so these uh, examples of these uh, signals can be the stray electromagnetic fields basically we are discussing about electrical and electronics so mostly it will revolve around voltage current measurements so the stray electromagnetic fields they also cause a change in the input output relationship then the various kinds of uh, changes in the operating conditions the environment in which the sensor is placed okay for example for temperature measurement uh, the sensor which is placed in a particular environment the various uh, operating conditions that uh, that the place undergoes during day night evening whatever it also affects the measurement process then the duration for which the sensor or that measurement system is used which causes abrasion wear and tear okay so all of these things they come under the interfering and modifying inputs and will cause a change in the input output relationship so we can represent this input output model of a measurement system with the help of a block diagram okay so first signal which is i subscript d capital i subscript capital d which is the desired input the desired signal temperature for rtd thermocouple thermistor force or, or pressure for bellow and bottom tube displacement for lvdt that is the desired signal and this block gd it is the transfer function for that desired input the gain for that desired input then we have is the interfering inputs that is given to a specific it constitutes a separate block which is gi which is the transfer function for the interfering input okay the modifying input actually uh, it is very interesting because it causes modifications in the input output relationship of the desired input and the output also in the interfering input okay the modifying input is common to both the desired and the interfering input causes changes in both directions okay so it causes a change in the gain the input output relationship it causes change uh, change in gd block and also it causes change in gi block so it affects the input output relationships in both ways for the desired signal input signal and also with the interfering input signal so the modifying input i subscript m it is common to both so the output of these two blocks gd block and gi block for both the desired input combined with the modifying input and also for the interfering input combined with the modifying input the final output is summed together at this summing block and we get the output so as i said we cannot uh, completely uh, eliminate these unwanted signals the modifying input and interfering input they will be there but we have to figure out a way by making some adjustments the design of this two blocks gd and gi blocks especially the gd block we can figure out some way how to uh, make the effects of these signals and keep it neutralized not completely neutralized but um, mellow down these effects and keep it as a minimum level possible okay 
so this is the input output model of the measurement system taking into account the various input types okay so we have discussed this input output model for various input types so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much